You know, the story of the giants have been told through many generations, from bedtime stories to stories passed down in Native America. You know, many times we see online, there's many different variants of video footage, whether this person's a giant or this person is a giant. But this is a story that's as old as time that's been passed down. Something that sparks a huge curiosity for many, many people. The question is, are the giants that the Bible talked about that would be in the flood and even after, are they still living among us? <laughs> Genesis 6 gives us a description of what was happening in Noah's time. It tells us that there was giants in those days and after, at the time of Noah's flood, and bore children with the women of men, and behold, they had Nephilim, as we would call them, or giants. What we've seen throughout history is from all different tribes and ethnicities, the likes of the, the Mayans, the Aztecs, the Mexicans, the Irish, we see many, many different variants of all the stories of the giants. Even in Ireland, we have one called up in Giants Causeway called Finn McCool, the story of Finn McCool, and that he was supposed to have battled with another giant that would have been across the canal in Scotland. Even when we move in towards mainland Europe, we see many stories of trolls and giants. We go even as far as across to, towards Egypt and Afghanistan and all these ancient histories and even the Greeks would tell many stories of these giants. Is the Bible clear on this? I believe so. Many scriptures would indicate and hint of the Nephilim and the Rephaim are all descendants of what we call the Nephilim or the firstborn of, of the fallen ones or the fallen angels. And we see throughout history, even in the architecture, some places in South America, some absolute special architecture that can't even be rec can't even be kind of uh, done today with the technology that we have. I believe scripture is clear on this but not just this how do so many different um, peoples and languages tell the same story when we go from Egypt to Mexico to South America to Ireland to Northern Europe they all tell a story of the giants these incredibly large man-eating giants that caused absolute havoc among the local kind of local population there but in as populations grew they began to fight back kill off a huge amount of them and then some believed that they went into hiding into caves into all types of places what we need to do is look at this through the kind of the lens of scripture to get a clear understanding of what's happening and then we see today throughout thousands of years the stories that have been told are still the exact same let's be real about this the bible is true and all of these stories are confirming the authenticity of scripture <laughs> 